These are seven things that you may or may not know about Pavlov Shack. But before we start the video, make sure you guys subscribe and ring that notification bell if you want to see more Pavlov Shack content. Let's get into this. Number one. So, did you know you can remove attachments from your weapon? Now, a lot of people do know this, but for the new players out there, when they're trying to take off their attachments, they'll just try to, you know, grip it normally, holding their gun normally, and it won't come off. And they're like, you know, how do I take off these attachments? They're confused. What you have to do is hold your gun out sideways, like this. And you'll hear an audio cue, which you just heard, and your attachments will glow on your gun. Then you can click the main trigger, which will pull it off the gun and you can adjust, you know, your sight where you want it on the gun. See, I moved it back a little bit. Now I can move it forward. If you move it forward on the gun, there's a little bit less recoil when you're aiming down sights, as you can see. Now, if I move it back a little bit, say I put it on towards the stock of the gun, it's a little more wild not too much of a difference but it definitely is noticeable when you're in search and destroy always move your scope or your sight towards the front of the gun it'll make it a lot easier number two did you know that if you hold both of your grip triggers in on your controller and push inwards like so the map will actually shrink and it'll highlight all the players on the map this is my controller compared to the size of a normal player most people don't actually know this tip and if you grip it again and pull away from each other you'll go back to normal i just thought that was a fun little tip for those of y'all that you know die a lot and you are spectating a game not many people know this grip pull towards each other to zoom out and then when you want to zoom back in pull out and it zooms back in number three did you know that you can actually buy a torch in team deathmatch i didn't know this until recently but i don't see the purpose in this you can buy a whole ass torch and this is actually used for the tanks in the world war ii mode but there's no purpose for it in team deathmatch i don't know why this is in the game but you can even use it you just hold the left trigger then hold the right you can use the torch <laughs> like i said what is the purpose for this i don't even think it does damage i'm not actually sure on that you know what why don't we go test it out hey yo can you help me out hey yeah. hey i want to know if this does damage bro i want to know like i'm doing this for a youtube video know. bro i'm doing this for you can i just try it on you yeah all right bet bro oh it does hold on oh you're on fire oh god oh my god no don't do it don't do it bro don't do it why is there a gun through your head bro in his misery <laughs> number four did you know that while in a pre-game lobby if you click training and go to the shooting range that you can play in the shooting range while in a pre-game lobby you guys should try this one out especially if the game is taking forever to start as you can see i just loaded into the game so it works number five did you know that in the hide game mode you can jump out of the map in og containers so you hold your hands up jump out and you can free roam outside of the map in OG containers. Thanks to Venom, you can see his gamer tag right there, for telling me about this little tip that I did not know. You can also stab players through the wall or through the fence while you're the alien. Just hit them like so. And you can kill them. It's a pretty neat tip. I didn't know it. So make sure you guys, you guys see Venom in game. Let him know he's a real one. Number six. Did you know that in the zombie mode on Pavlov Shack on the map bridge, you can bug out the zombies by standing about right here on the bridge. Stand about right here and they'll start bugging out a little bit if you get too high. So you got to go down a little bit till they run at you. So about right here and they don't do any damage to you. All you can do is just sit here, pop them in the head. And you can also stand on top of this sandbags over here and they still won't do any damage. The zombies in this game bug out whenever you get on top of obstacles. The AI doesn't necessarily know what to do. So anytime you get on top of something, the AI is gonna bug out. Also on the map, OG containers, you can do the same glitch by coming up the staircase and walking to the left and staying on the wall. Then you walk along this wall and you stay on the barrel. Just make sure you don't fall in this corner right here or you will be stuck and you'll have to commit suicide. But as you can see, they don't do any damage. You just sit there, shoot them in the head. 
Number seven. Did you know that you can actually completely break the game of Pavlov Shack in Search and Destroy by going to the buy menu and going to pistols and just buying the first pistol for 250 over and over again? You have to have quite a lot of money, but if somebody is coordinating with you and buying pistols over and over again, it will completely break the game. As you can see, it's already dropping performance it's lagging like crazy and if you get enough on there it'll even crash the game oh you can already tell it's just breaking the whole game man and you can got you guys can see the frame drops man oh my god oh my god <laughs> shout out to venom he's helping me out with this yeah but as you guys can see man it, it completely lags the game that one's not a tip that i would recommend but it's definitely one if you if you're trying to troll bro just go ahead for it